This doesn't seem like the right casket. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Witchwood. Okay, so we're helping this little girl out and she said that she needs seashells to get onto the boat. Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, this guy uh, looks shady. Rough Sailor, whoa there. Where do you think you're hobbling off to? Me? Well, I have come to visit my uh, son. <laughs> no, you ain't. The only family anyone on this tub is the sea itself. And no one gets aboard unless they pay the toll in seashells first. What's a gold brain swabby like you want with a bunch of dirty shells? Change for me. The captain got his own business with them shells, and I ain't one to ask uh, to question him. So either bring me your dues or cast off. Okay, uh, so how many does he need? Bring me the seashells. The night is kind to. Ones that sound like the ocean waves. Uh, okay, so we need five of them. Okay, so she was saying that people were picking up them up before she could get to them. Before she could get to the she seashells. So plug pocket, like, uh, we need a, like, a plug pocket for, um, these fish folk that are out here. We do have, like, a, not a lot of new recipes and stuff. Um, so plug pocket is where there is. Okay, clever fingers find their way into deep pockets, now conveniently from a distance. Useful against villagers and fisher folk. Okay, so we have everything because I've caught, like, a couple crabs. But we need to go to the graveyard for bones, which I have not found the graveyard yet. Uh, so I guess maybe it's probably somewhere like near town, I would imagine. Okay, see, there's like a road here and it goes nowhere. <laughs> I love the little elves, they're so cute. The little jingle bells, I love it. Um, Alright, so... Ah, see, look, here's, like, oh, yeah, look, it says to the graveyard. I was going to say, like, here's graves right here. Yeah, so a little kind of out of the way, which they kind of did hint, like, that maybe we were supposed to do the graveyard first, based on the conversation. Sorry, ma'am, but I must warn you, the graveyard's not safe right now. If you got flowers, I can go lay them on a grave if and you want. Bleh. When I croak, no better, but nobody better bring me posies. What's the matter? Uh, something's got the spirits of this place riled up in a real bad way. All restless and cranky they is. There's this horrible howling coming from the mansion up on the uh, up the road. A scream that a chill that bumps right off your goose. Every time I gather up my wits to go take a look, see my knees turn to jelly as soon as I set foot on the path. Mark my words, that creepy old place is haunted by something more than just a sleep sleepless spirit. Ha! Ghost stories are for children. When you get to be my age, it takes something special to put the fright in you. Well, if you're so sure about that, could you go up there and tell me what you see? Maybe if it's something to do with what's got all these ghosts so agitated. Uh, okay. So, the rat. Alright, so it does look like there's, like, soil here. Aha, bones. What is that? Mandrake root. Oh, wow, okay. It looks like a little baby or something. Uh, what's that? A black rose. Interesting. Okay. Of course, rats are gonna pop up here. I've got, like, a few rat tails. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to need. Ooh! That's what he's talking about right there. Trying to claw back the life it lost. Ghostly grass. Uh, oh yeah, so water, gravekeeper, the death he's seen weighs heavy on his continents. Black Rose, uniquely given life by ash and bone meal, an indication of histories beneath. Okay, uh, interesting, interesting. Oh god, Hank Ghost. Distinctly lacking the stillness characteristic of the dead. Oh no, okay, so let's gather a few of these and then like some bones as well if I can dig any up oh geez yeah it's a uh, it's a little bit creepy oh there's another ghost over there too thankfully though with like everything that kind of chases you in this game you can outrun it oh look ghastly head 
lost its body, but seemingly all the more spry for it. Spirit salts, which we have. Um, yeah, I've got like a couple left over from the swamp. Uh, oh, there we go. Mummified head. Hmm, interesting. Okay. E. Okay. Uh, I want, I want that, but I guess I can't get it. Uh, weeping specter, oh ghost, why do you weep, sobbing with a grief transcending death? Altered ghost, exorcism charm, haunted now, haunted. The creepy antlers seem to be an optical illusion. Interesting. Mermaid memorial, a lovely siren marks this resting place. Okay, so some things we don't know what we need yet. Uh... Got a new recipe though, so what are these? So we need bat wings. Okay, and we gotta find those somewhere out here. Um, okay. What about the stone though? What do we need for that? Uh, okay, so like the cobblestones, poison, the spirit salts. So we're gonna have to make like a few more of these. Let's go ahead and make a bunch. And then I can actually make a bunch of these too. I've got ton of ingredients for that. So, and then we'll see what these drop. Oh, I'm already out of, like, the poison. Okay. So, ooh! Ooh! Ah, tears. Spectral tears. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so I think this might be the portal, the mermaid statue, where one might expect the door to a mausoleum. Here instead stands a shrine. Adorned heavily with skulls, perhaps to deter closer inspection. But their arrangement does not serve the dead, nor their memory, instead being placed to mask a path beyond. Your knowing fingers reduce it to dust with a tap. Excellent! Okay, cool. So, we got the portal here, so that way we can fast travel and come out here for, like, ingredients whenever we need. Um, wow. This, uh, place is amazing, because there's, like, a lot of stuff to gather. Like, I love games where you just sit there and, like, gather things and, like, uh, can I get both of these at once? Nice. Twofer. Uh, yeah, where you sit here and, like, gather things? Ooh, I think I've gotten somebody's attention. Uh, Missionary of the Ram. <laughs> here to spread the woolly word of his would-be messiah. Yeah. Those guys are everywhere, huh? Uh, yeah, I could sit here and gather ingredients, like, all day. Like, every day. Like, I love games like this so much. Okay, so this is the mansion into the church. Uninviting, certainly, but not uninhabited. No, I don't think that's it, because I can't get in there. Ah, uh, okay, so... Uh, the village is that way, but the mansion is this way. Okay, I was like, I couldn't find it. Alright, so let's see what's up with the mansion. Obviously, it's gotta do something with the rat, right? Hello? Oh, jeez. Uh, something tells me I'm not getting very far in here. Haunted mansion. As you walk through the dilapidated estate, the temperature drops drastically. The floorboards and walls groan angrily, as if the whole building is upset at your invasion. A gust of wind suddenly rushes up the staircase as though the house itself was drawing breath. An ear-splitting scream stirs dust from the rafters and makes your knees weak. Ah, uh, that's definitely the Milana's voice of a banshee, or I'm a chicken's aunt. You take a step forward, but ghostly skeletal hands rise up through the creaking floorboards. They reach out grasping, and you feel your spirit fade at their frigid touch. You're all lucky I misplaced my spectral stick, uh, sickle or I'd cut you down like weeds. Guess I should report back to the gravekeeper anyway. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to be able to get uh, past these guys. Uh, your foot falls again. Conjure many grasping spectral hands, clutching and scratching so as to keep you from going any further. I'll need some help from the gravekeeper to calm these grabby ghosts. Crud. Okay, I was gonna try and get that chest that was up there. If it is a chest, like, it could be a mimic. <laughs> like, there, there are mimics everywhere out in this area, so, uh, yeah. 
I, 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 I'm betting that it's a mimic. All right, you've got some information to report. You're back. It's a demon from the underworld, isn't it? Oh, or maybe a lich come to summon up an army of darkness. Relax, it's just your run-of-the-mill banshee. A banshee? I knew it. No wonder the dead have been so angry lately. How are they supposed to get any rest with all this racket? Hmm. But a spirit only becomes a banshee when it's been terribly wronged. Who used to live in that house? I don't rightly know. It's been abandoned since before my time. Always been pretty creepy, though. The place was so haunted that I couldn't get in for a better look. A good exorcism ought to clean it right up. This sort of stuff happen often? Haha! <laughs> Why, just last year, I had to deal with a ghoul that wouldn't stop breaking into the crypts. Darn feller was trying to find his long-lost love or something. The old man turns it to rummage through his cluttered shack, looking for something. Anyways, eventually I had to call in the Grave Squad exterminators. They got that nasty ghoul rounded up before he befell too many tombs. But they left behind this, uh, where'd it go? Uh, get to. Ah, they gave me this to ward off any angry spirits that might be left over. He holds up a rusty-looking lantern. A ghost lamp? I thought those things got recalled because of all the <laughs> those possessions. Huh? I never heard nothing about that. Now, this thing ain't powerful enough for banshees, but it could keep the lesser spirits away. He gives the lamp a shake, but only a puff of smoke, a purple smoke, rises off the wick. Ah, jeez. Looks like I forgot to keep it fueled. I'd go and get the gas myself, but with the graveyard in this state... He shrugs feebly at you. You're hopeless. What does the ghost lamp need for fuel? He squints at the fading label on the back of the lantern. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we need bat wings, ghostly ectoplasm, crypt crawler, silk... Okay, well, we don't know how to get any of this stuff yet. Um, oh, okay, I, so I, I have seen bats kind of fly by. So maybe uh, we can trap them in the traps like with the birds and everything? Or maybe not. Nothing's happening. <laughs> like, hello? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's that's how we get those. Uh, Alright, so let's scoop these back up to reuse somewhere else. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. There's a crypt right there. I was gonna say, like, I may have to go to the village. Like, the village is the only other place that we haven't been to, but, uh, yeah. No, let's go in here. Okay. Whoa. Anybody? Any, anybody in here? In cap. Chances are there's a corpse in there as well. Oh, uh, yeah, we still need... Oh, look, it's, like, kind of sparkly looking, right? Like a beaded curtain, almost. Oh, my God. Okay, that is, uh, it's so dark in here. Like, it totally blended in. Harry Toothy drills a lot, but absolutely not a dog. <laughs> okay, stone casket, very likely to contain a corpse. Okay, so can we, like, open these? Or... Or what? Oh, they're, like, chained and everything. Um, Alright, so let's see what we need for this. Okay, so suit sprites. Potion of Blight. Uh, okay. I might need... No, I was gonna say I might need more of the eyeballs, but I think I actually got, like, plenty of them. Okay. So, arachnicide, extremely harmful to spiders and everything else, really, but spiders in particular are useful against crypt crawlers. Okay, so, uh, I don't know how close I need to be to this thing. Oh. So, I, I threw it on the ground. Ah, okay, so that's the silk that we need. Let's. I saw another one kind of off to the side. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're, like, really hard to see, huh? Okay. There we go. Nice. 
Okay. Oh, buddy, I was coming down there for that one. <laughs> I think that was the one that I saw like earlier. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello? Are there any more in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, but how do we get like all the bat stuff and everything? Oh my Lanta! Oh god, no, no, back, back, you fiend. Okay, uh, Grimoire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might just be a good idea to like have like a few of those on hand. Oh god. Oh god. Toss it. Toss it. Toss it. No! Oh god. I'm like in the way. I'm stuck. Okay. That was that was a little hairy. Alright. Uh, so apothecary rumor or humors. <laughs> uh, and then the moonlight thing. Okay. So we might need another one of those eventually. Oh, there's a bat. Wait, come back, bat. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Vampire bat. Winged terror of the night. So only dangerous if you're asleep. Okay. So let's... Uh, I think I've got... Yeah, I've still got like quite a few of these. So let's place like a few of these out. Because it looks like we're going to need like a lot of wings. And I'm... I mean, what? They're going to drop like one to two. <laughs> I would imagine. Okay. So, wings and blood all over the place. Fantastic. Like, I wish, kind of wish this game came out, like, around, like, Halloween time. Like, that would have been, like, the perfect time. All right. So, we got all the ingredients. I just got, like, a bunch of, like, extra stuff because we always seem to need, like, the ingredients for other things. So, okay. So, the web wings will f uh, still flap of their own accord squints at the fading label on the back of the lantern. Let's see. Ghostly ectoplasm. And... Crib crawler silk. I seem to have misplaced my reading glasses, so maybe you better prepare the mixture? You read off the well-worn instructions printed on the lantern. They're horridly confusing and riddled with spelling mistakes. How these contraptions ever make it to the market in the first place. You better stand back. If I do this wrong, things might get a little... explodey. You grind together the gruesome ingredients into a waxy paste before rendering the whole mixture down the gravekeeper's cooking fire. The odor coming from the wet bubbling soup makes the hairs in your nose prickle, but you power through it and pour the ghastly oil into the lantern with a rusty funnel. The gravekeeper raises one caterpillar-like eyebrow at you. Oh, that word. I nailed it. I almost stumbled. I could not say this word until I was like 21. <laughs> like, ugh, it was so bad. I always said caterpillar. Like, I could just never, never. Like, my brain was just like, I don't understand that word. No, kaboom. Perfect. Give her a good shake. You swish the oil around inside the lamp and light the wick. Slowly, a bluish, unearthly glow fills the space around you. The light makes your teeth itch when you look directly at it. Take it. Take a look at that, fresh as a daisy. Now wave it around should uh, any wayward ghoulies try to accost you. It should clear the way in that miserable banshee uh, to that miserable banshee. If and maybe you could ask her what all the fuss is about. Okay. So we got the thing. Like, I wonder if that's what it's going to tell us. Yeah. So weakness. Oh, okay. So they disappear. They don't drop anything. Trat. Oh, friendly dog. This old pooch deserves a treat. Oh, okay. Uh, can we give him a treat? I don't know. Uh, inventory ingredients. Can we like give him some meat or something? Like I wanna, I wanna give him something, like cause he's a good boy. Uh, but I guess, I guess not. <laughs> like dang it! <laughs> cause he didn't even try to attack me or anything. Okay. Oh look, it looks like a mouth. Whoa. Okay. All right, so there's one of those guys over there. Do I have any more of those? I think I used them all, yeah. Cause I was kind of trying to like, get like a lot of the like the ectoplasm that I needed. Um, 
Alright, so let's put it in the old inventory. Okay, so we gotta do this to get past those things first. Oh, Gravebone, its former owner, is not particularly pleased about how things turned out. Uh, the shriveled noggin of someone long dead, smaller than you might expect. Uh, oh, there she is. Ooh, buddy, she's, uh, she looks scary. Howling with a pain to transcend the veil. Hello? <laughs> Come to Tommy as well. I'm not gonna sit there and scream like my voice, like, just can't handle it. Taunt you. I come to find out why you're throwing such a tantrum. You raise the dead with your wailing. <laughs> like, yeah. The wraith's jaw. Uh, the wraith's jaw drops to her collarbone, howling as her ghostly arms reach for you. You quickly raise the ghost lamp high, bathing the room in cold light. The spirit recoils away, covering her eyes with translucent hands. <laughs> it burns! Why do you torment me so? Oh, quit being so dramatic. Now tell me what's got you so upset. It's gone! That sneak! That thieving, plague-ridden rodent stole it! What's well, gone? Who stole it? The family's crypt was defiled by that wretched rat! My most precious treasure, my brooch, is gone. I will not rest until I have it back. Ah, that rat stole the brooch from your crypt? That's enough to make anyone upset. Yes, it was stolen, ripped from my breast. Where has it gone? Well, if the rat pilfered it off your remains, maybe he left behind a clue as to where he ran off to. But that crypt is Jan full of casks, uh, caskets. How will I know which box is yours? What was your name? <laughs> I do not remember. Who was I? Everything is clouded by my suffering. Well, this was your house, right? There must be some relics in here that can point me in the right direction. Okay, 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 I get it. I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this. Then you could stop all this howling. All right, so let's help the poor deer out. Uh, so I was kind of thinking maybe like one of the diaries or something might be a good idea. Family portrait. This corroded picture frame has almost completely deteriorated. You can barely make out ghostly figures sitting together on rotten on the rotten canvas. A shame. Time has almost forgotten this family. Maybe I can restore just this little piece of them. Hey, okay. oh, oh, it's, it scared me a little, I will admit. Um, oop, chest. This heavy box seems like it might contain important family documents, but it's locked tight. Mm. I doubt the key is anywhere around here. I better just make my own. Okay, so let's make one then. Actually, I need to make like a few of these because of like all the mimics in town. You crack open the chest to find a collection of moldy papers and bills, but a heavy book at the bottom looks promising. In the cracked leather bound tome, you browse through long forgotten obituaries, and we mourn her death, the third of her siblings to pass. Much beloved, she will long be remembered for her beautiful singing voice and tireless pursuit of justice. <laughs> Makes sense that uh, she became a banshee. Sounds like our banshee. The third to die. That will mean that her casket will be on the third, uh, be the third one on her row. Okay, so got a little bit of a uh, thing. Oh, okay. So craft a restorative idol for the destroyed portrait. Restorative. Okay. Uh, restorative uh, thingamabob, you say. Okay, so we need one of those. Uh, oh, uh, we're gonna have to use some of these, so let's make some more healing potions. Because chances are, like, I'll probably walk into some trouble at some point. Okay, I don't know how many of those I'm gonna need, so I'll just make one for now. Uh, let's put it in our inventory. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna need 
my net anytime soon, so let's just put it away. Color and light flood back into the faded painting to reveal a content-looking family. You recognize one of the younger girls by her shock of hair and brooch on her chest. That must be our wailing rat, Wraith, a granddaughter by the looks of it. So she must be on the lower tiers of the crypt. Okay, so third one, lower tiers. Right, so the family crest, maybe that's downstairs. Um, unless everything is upstairs, I don't know. It could be. Uh, nope, there it is. This embossed shield looks like it might be a coat of arms, but the face is so badly encrusted with patina that you can't quite make out what it is. Hmm, a good cleaning odd to get this looking spick and span. A purification water recipe. Something with a little more zest. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we got everything that we need. Okay. You clean away the grit and grime to reveal a proud lion staring back at you. The, this crest looks like it matches one of the burial rooms in the crypt. Okay. I think that's everything I need to know. The Benji's body is buried underneath the crest of the lion. She's a granddaughter, so she'll be on the bottom row, and she was the third one to pass away. All right, so let's head back to the crypt. Oh, you're back. Find out anything about our predicament? It seems like you've got a grave robber on the loose. The Benji had a brooch stolen from her family crypt. A grave robber? Oh, damn those despicable degenerates. With the increase in ghosts, I haven't been able to do my nightly patrols. I need to get to the crypt and find her body. The thief might have left something behind. Well, good luck. That place has more spiders than I have liver spots. So you'll understand if I stay behind. Okay, so, uh, spiders. So there were three in there, uh, initially. So I'm gonna have to make, like, three of those things. All right, so I got the arachnicide ready to go. Okay, so they said like somewhere like on the bottom. Ooh, there's one. Okay, so let's toss that. And then I can actually use this to kind of keep the ghosts away from me while I sit here and work. Uh, okay, so somewhere at the bottom third row. And we're looking for like a, hmm, this doesn't seem like the right casket. In the lion room. Okay, so that that looks like a lion to me. Hey, okay, toss. Be gone, ye spider. Like, I wish I had this in real life. We've got black widows out here that like to build nests in really, really unfortunate places. This doesn't seem like the right casket. <laughs> no. So I thought it was a lion. See, yeah, this looks like a deer or something. Third from the bottom, unless it's like third. There we go, wall crypt. You dig your nails underneath the loose plaque and begin to pull. The rusty bolts pop off the corners of the end cap as the whole thing rips off from the mossy wall. You toss away the grave cover and peer inside the dark hollow, holding your lamp aloft. Dozens of small, beady eyes blink back at you. Rats. You quickly jump aside as a torrent of vermin come pouring out from the coffin. Filthy little blighters, or biters, come to pilfer more graves. Squeaking and hissing, they flow like some lumpy liquid rushing back towards the entrance. You get the feeling that these rats are far more organized than any normal pest. Where are you off to, little devils? Running back to your master, perhaps? Ooh. Maybe. There they go. Follow the rats to their nest in the graveyard. Look. Oh, look. They're even, like, kind of... <laughs> it kind of looks like they're kind of looking back, like, Okay, we got everybody. Phil, you with us? Yeah, okay, we got Phil. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's uh, use this so I can kind of walk around unbothered. 
Uh, oh, the tree, huh? You track the swarm of rats into thorny bramble, their bodies whirling in a verminous mass. This does not, however, seem to be their permanent nest. If you could only flush them out, perhaps they would flee to their true source. A good spark ought to set this dry tender alight. Can't hide from me, beasts. Okay, so chances are we're gonna need like a cinder box. Okay, which I think I still have like a few of these. Let's light that on fire. The brush is quickly assumed in tongues of flame scattering the rats beneath their frenzied route is not without order though uh or uh yeah i think that's route <laughs> in a wave of fur and claws they scramble through the graveyard towards their next hiding place all right uh those guys are so loud the ones with the antlers Okay, so they just went in here. The horde of rats pour between the bars of this crumbling mausoleum, swirling in a uh, gyre just out of reach. Once more, they have found temporary refuge. Such a closed-in space seems ripe for a good smoking. They won't be able to hold their breath for long. Okay, which I think I actually have a few of these, too. It's a good thing that I uh, like to hoard ingredients and stuff. The smoke emitting from the pellet is thick and concentrated. Even though they are below the worst of it, the choking fumes are enough to flush the rats out. Once more, they rush forth, this time fleeing towards the shadow of the ruined church. Okay. Uh, ruined church, huh? All right, so how do I get past here? The flood of rats squeeze through the bars of a great... Uh, a great brass gate. Ooh. That is a tongue twister. Great brass gate. Great bat. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, let me know how many times you can say this in a row. <laughs> We're getting it wrong in the comments. I'm curious. And disappear into the ruins of a squat abandoned church. Heavy chain binds up the gate, and the rusted padlock is well beyond accepting any sort of key. Something more potent will be needed to open it. Okay. Acidic, ungent recipe. Interesting. Alright guys, but that's gonna be it for this episode. I really enjoyed this chapter so far. Um, it makes me think of a lot of kind of like creepy spooky things that I really enjoyed as a kid and like Halloween and everything like that. And I'm so glad that y'all are enjoying this as well. I, I really have been enjoying the comments. Like it, it lifts my spirits because I know my channel is still kind of stagnant from that long hi hiatus I took like a couple years back. And um, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video.